Hi, I'm excited to show you today about some of our coloring books. And this first one is the Magic Painting Book. And it comes with its special water brush. And so in the front, it tells you a little bit about how to use it. And so you'll start by dipping the pen in some water. And you'll pick your page that you want to color. And then in the back, it has this flap, pull out flap that you just tuck under the page that you're planning to color so that when you color it, the water doesn't bleed through onto the next page. And you just take your pen and you just go back and forth and it, the color behind will come through and reveal the pattern. And this is great for younger kids because they can do detailed patterns and have such neat colors and there isn't going to be a big mess and they won't get exhausted coloring it because uh, they just get to use the water and just see it pop right through. And it's fun for adults too because it is detailed and we get to see all the neat patterns there are. So there's lots of fun things to color in here. I'm going to move on to some a couple of our new titles. Um, they are the adult coloring books. And these are the mandalas to color. And this one is one of my favorites because they're just a lot of neat patterns. And yeah. at the beginning, it tells you a little bit of history about them, what mandalas are and where they come from, and as well as how they're designed. And for example, this is a Chinese mandala. And it tells you the traditional colors to use are red, green, blue, and yellow. So that gives you an idea of how to color them so that they look um, how they're intended to. And there's a Japanese and Indian. And then at the back of the mandala book, I'll show you a couple of the other pages. And then in the very back, last two pages, it shows you an example of how they're designed so that you can finish them out yourself. You can practice finishing the patterns and then coloring them in. And then on the very last page, you can, they left a blank so that you can design your very own mandala and color that in too. So there's the mandala one. And then the other one is the Indian patterns to color. And this one is similar to the mandalas in that it has, starts off by telling you the basic color schemes that they were. And this one is a little bit different because it also has uh, some culture and history facts about India. For example, the royal elephants, it tells um, that these elephants would have been painted with intricate patterns in pink, blue, and yellow and dressed in embroidered cloths and heavy gold and silver jewelry. So you get to see what they would look like after you've finished it. And it has the walls and we even pottery that they would have had that they'd maybe even could have and then in the back of this one it has a couple of pages that you could you color them in and then you could cut them out and be able to use them as bookmarks that is the India patterns to color and then the last one that I'm going to do with this video is Nature to Color, and it is a giant coloring book with so many different um, things to color. And the neat thing about this is that it's not just a regular coloring book. It has a table of contents, and has a little snippet of what each page is about. And this is great, for example, if you have kids who need to do a report or just learn more information about a certain flower or lots of different butterflies and bugs and you get to choose which one you want to do for example I'll do the scarlet macaws here on page 38 and this is an example of one that we started to do already and it not only does it show you the color patterns for them it also gives you a little bit of information and facts about where they live and different things that, for example, their strong curved beaks can crack into the shells of nuts and seeds. So it just gives a little bit of fact and information about them as well. And there are just a lot of different ones. And with that, so thank you very much.